Welcome back to that God Power channel. This is the channel where we're going to unlock the God Power that's laying dormant on the inside of you. But first today, what we're going to do is continue with the breakdown of the book of Acts from the Bible. Um, last time we did chapter 23, this time we're naturally on chapter 24. So go back and get caught up with the story if you have not, like I say on every video. But if you are caught up with the story, let's go ahead and jump straight into chapter 24. Now, if you remember chapter 23, Paul was uh, at the governor's crib or at the um, the prison at the governor's crib, uh, Governor Felix. And um, he was waiting to get a trial heard out by the governor. So chapter 24 starts with Paul appearing before Governor Felix. Here we go. So five days later, after Paul got to the prison, Ananias, the high priest, arrived and he was with some of the Jewish elders and lawyer Tertullus um, presented their case against Paul to the governor. When Paul was called in, Tertullus presented the charges against Paul in the following address to the governor. This is what he said. He said, you have provided a long period of peace for us Jews and with foresight have enacted reforms for us. For all this, your excellency, we are very grateful to you. But... I don't want to bore you, so please give me your attention for only a moment. We have found this man to be a troublemaker who is constantly stirring up riots amongst the Jews all over the world. He is a ringleader of the cult known as the Nazarenes. Furthermore, he was trying to desecrate the temple when we arrested him. You can find out the truth of our ac accusations by examining him yourself. Then the other Jews chimed in in declaring that everything Tertullus said was true. So everybody was against Paul at this moment. So at this time, the governor motioned for Paul to speak. And Paul said, I know, sir, that you've been a judge of Jewish affairs for many years, so I gladly present my defense before you. You could quickly discover that I have arrived in Jerusalem no more than 12 days ago to worship at the temple. My accusers never found me arguing with anyone in the temple, nor stirring up a riot in any synagogue or on the streets of any city. These men cannot prove the things that they accuse me of doing, but I admit that I followed the way, which they all call a cult. I worship the God of our ancestors, and I firmly believe the Jewish laws and everything written in the prophets. I have the same hope in God that these men have, that he will raise both the righteous and unrighteous. Because of this, I always try to maintain a clear conscience before God and all people. And after several years away, I returned to Jerusalem with money to aid my people to offer sacrifices to God. My accusers saw me in the temple as I was completing the purification ceremony. There was no crowd around me and no rioting. But some Jews from the province of Asia were there, and they ought to be here to bring charges if any of them have anything against me. Ask these men here what crime the Jewish High Council found me guilty of, except for the one time I shouted out, I am on trial before you today because I believe in the resurrection of the dead. And at that point, Felix, who was quite familiar with the way, he adjourned the hearing and he said, wait until Lysias, the garrison commander, arrives. Then I will decide the case. He ordered an officer to keep Paul in custody, but to give him some freedom and allow his friends to visit him and take care of his needs. Now, a few days later, Felix came back with his wife, Drusilla, who was Jewish. Um, and sending for Paul, they listened as he told them about faith in Jesus Christ. Now, as he reasoned with them about righteousness and self-control and the coming day of judgment, Felix became frightened. He was like, go away now. When it is more convenient, I will call for you again. He also hoped that Paul would bribe him, so he sent for him quite often and talked with him. Now, after two years went by in this way, Felix was succeeded by Portius Festus. And because Felix wanted to gain favor with the Jewish people, he left Paul in prison. And that's the end of chapter 24. So Paul is left in prison with a new governor in control. And he doesn't know this governor and this governor doesn't know him. But I'm sure the governor knows about him. Who knows the governor's feelings on him? We'll figure that out in chapter 25. So thank you for joining me for chapter 24. Hope you learned some. Hope if you didn't learn some, hope you got some extra insight. And I hope it's something worthy of sharing. Um, remember that this chapter will be finished or this book will be finished before the end of the year. I'm going to record videos, even if I have to do because I'm going 
um, across the country, so I won't have my equipment, but I'll I'll have some kind of equipment. So we'll see what we'll see. But um, thanks y'all again for joining me, and I want y'all to have a beautiful, blessed, wonderful, God loving day. Reciprocate the love. Remember the holidays, and also remember that you got that God power. <laughs> I got the God Tapping the sources, calling the vibes. I just thank God I'm alive. I just thank God that I'm alive.